Hello everyone, my name is PixelRiffs. Welcome back to Decidedly Vanilla on the 5th Choice server. Welcome back to the Nameless Ruin for episode 19. And today we're going to do a little bit of work on here. This is what I've done with the bridge so far. And I, I kind of like it. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, what I've managed to do is get like two halves of a bridge going on. And of course I fail that jump. <laughs> of course I do. Um, so I've got two halves of the bridge going on and they don't meet in the middle. And that's intentional right now. And I've been trying to work out what I can do with the leaves around the bottom of here but uh, basically the bridge is going to have kind of fallen apart and I'm not sure if I want it to be this high it seems a little bit much it feels like the arch of it just goes a little bit too high for the length of water this has to cover so what I'm thinking of doing is kind of distressing the bridge a little bit which kind of makes it sound like I'm gonna make it nervous or something but instead I'm going to get a bunch of materials together and probably make the bridge look like it's falling down from where it currently is which will make it the right sort of height but also look like some stuff has fallen into the water and I've already started to do that down here with the middle of it I've kind of put down some dark oak planks and some uh, sandstone there just to make it look like a bunch of stuff from the middle has fallen out but I think I want to give the impression that it's kind of caving hello that was an enderman just <laughs> randomly decided to show up at dawn as well so yeah, time to be getting on with this. This is also looking a little bit too clean. So I think I can do a little bit around here just to kind of make the place look like it's been eroded away slightly, I guess, kind of thing. Kind of like what I've done down here with the arcade in that I want to get in some, some grass and stuff. Some bone meal here. Anything else I can use? Maybe a little bit of cobblestone. We'll drag some of that down with us. And there is definitely going to be some sandstone in the chest over here. I went out to the desert and I did a bunch of digging around with sandstone. Oh, there's the Enderman. He's using the bridge. Hello. Come back here. I want your pearls. Nothing, really. Not even with the looting three sword. I'm still using the Hop Slayer. I still haven't sorted out my diamond sword from the last episode. But there you go. Yeah, I've got a ton of sandstone in here. What I'm going to do is make some of this into stairs. And then I reckon that will be a fantastic opportunity to work in some decay over there. The stairs are going to look like broken down sandstone blocks. Kind of the way sandstone would be already if it weren't kind of crumbling into the river. So let's let's work on that now. And th this this bit on the side here, I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. I want to take out some of this, and I kind of want the the dirt to have slid down into here, sort of thing. But then that blocks off the water, and I still want the water to flow around. So hang on, if we if we do something slightly different here, I think it will work. If I take out the slab there and move because I don't want to cover that block up but if, if we do that and then have that come around here and I've already put some mossy cobblestone in here because I wanted it to look like it was draining away into some sort of sewer system down there but if we add some mossy stone in like here kind of like that oh I guess not like that because that's blocking the water flow again so there so let's add in a little bit of that and maybe one there as well just to kind of give it some linearity but then I want actually no let's 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 put this here and this like that and then I kind of want to take out one of those but I was thinking about putting grass in like here to make this area look a little bit less put together you know and then maybe we'll put one over the top of that instead of actually taking out the stair block because I don't want to ruin this formation we've got here I think that looks pretty cool so I think maybe it needs some grass around here as well so we'll cut the sand back a little bit I'm taking out a little bit of dirt that I don't mean to but if we just let the grass grow in over here I've probably got a ton of dirt somewhere haven't I somehow I don't have dirt in there let's go back to the other chest I'm pretty sure I have a bunch of it in here but if we let the grass grow around that a little more and then I'm going to bone meal it to make it a little more overgrown there we go got plenty of dirt around here yeah we're going to bone meal that to make it look a little bit more overgrown and then I think that will complete the look of it a little more in terms of it being 
invaded on by nature. Invaded on? <laughs> I guess that's a phrase. So yeah, let's let's throw some bone meal down here and just test that out. Because yeah, already that's starting to look a little bit better in terms of the sort of overgrown scheme of things. So I like that. I like that. We'll let the grass grow in over here and we'll keep that going. And cutting back on the sand helps as well because it helps make the bridge stand out a little bit more. So let's go with that. Let's throw some moss stone down over here as well. Just a little bit. And we're not necessarily going to do the same thing we've done over there where the the grass kind of grows over this bit because sometimes that just looks a little bit too like yeah you've done the same thing twice you know it looks less organic that way if it's a asymmetry kind of lends itself more to the organic nature of builds like this so let's keep things nice and asymmetrical and my chest is kind of drowning in grass right now but that's fine we'll keep it keep it going that way so let's start replacing some of these bits up here with sandstone stairs and i will bring you back in when i've done a bit more on it just got to take out a couple of zombies in the river and I will be able to show you guys what I have done. Um, and that one just got bumped by that squid. So the squid's obviously on my side. So yeah, this is kind of how it's turned out. And I am loving the stairs in here. I just really wish that the water didn't make that texture around here. To be honest, I think Lively Default is working in my favour a little bit there. I think if this was vanilla texture pack, it would look worse in a way but the the water flow texture kind of works out slightly differently but this this is possibly my favorite thing about it like there's a there's a column that's clearly there at some point but it's been broken off and you can see like bits of this are starting to sag this half of the bridge has kind of fallen in completely but if you look at it from around here it doesn't look all that different and you can still get to the top of here and make a pretty easy jump over so it's not like it's going to impede me getting around in any way except I keep falling off when I go that side but I think I just need to learn the, the lay of it I need to learn sort of how to get around and just jump from there there you go jump from the highest point that's usually the best way of doing it so yeah I think this is looking pretty good I'm quite happy with it so far again as with all my projects I will probably continue to tinker with this off camera just to get it looking a little bit better and I definitely want to dress up the other side with some more leaves and stuff but I'm gonna work on some plans for that island that island is going to be like another kind of housing district in a way like I've already got a couple of houses and stuff over here but I almost want that to be like a residential island for people and I say people like the the theoretical people who lived here before it became this abandoned ruin there we go that's not a bad jump either and oh dawn is rising lovely and so this would be the the kind of island where they all hung out and maybe like a couple of shops and stuff over here but mostly houses so I can build this really tight little housing district over here and then they can have a bridge that takes them over to the mainland where all of the important stuff to go is where all of the important locations are most of the shops are going to be here I'm thinking of building some kind of abandoned library because I think bookshelves would look awesome in an abandoned building and yeah up there to the temple is obviously one of the places they would look to go when they came over from housing island over there i'm not sure exactly what i want to call it but yeah like a kind of housing district kind of thing is what i have in mind i could probably overgrow the leaves a little bit over here i think i've used oak leaves here before as well so let's see if we can just throw some of those down like that just to make it look a little bit more like it's grown over and i have these dangling in the water on the other side I'm also considering making the bottom half of this riverbed, making that bit there dirt instead of sand, if only because it will help the sandstone blocks that I've dropped from the middle of this bridge to kind of stick out a little bit more. I don't know. I, I'll work on that. I think I think that's probably what I'm going to do, but I just love the chunks out of those pillars. I just think that looks really cool. I just really wish that the water effect wasn't getting in the way of that, because otherwise it would look absolutely brilliant but for the next bit of this episode I kind of want to work on another thing in the arcade down here and I've been calling this an arcade for a while and I mean that in like the, the shopping kind of context as opposed to the video games context but given that my tutorial over this weekend was for arcade machines I kind of want to make an actual like entertainment arcade down here so I think that's what shop number two is going to be it's going to be more of like an entertainment park and I browse these communities online, like there's a subreddit 
which is called Abandoned Porn. I kind of hate the name <laughs> because it kind of sounds like it's abandoned pornographic material, which it's absolutely not. It's images people find exciting, put it that way, of abandoned buildings and all kinds of structures, cars that have been abandoned in the woods, that kind of thing. Stuff that's been overgrown and reclaimed by nature. And that is a a big source of inspiration for the stuff I build here at the Nameless Ruin. And there are a couple of things on there that they've posted where there have been abandoned theme parks, which are possibly some of the coolest looking things I've ever seen. Just the overgrown like roller coaster tracks and everything, and a Ferris wheel with vines growing up it and everything like that those just look incredible and I kind of want to build something like an abandoned amusement arcade down here where people would have gone to you know spend their money get some entertainment that kind of thing and so I'm going to work on digging out this little area it's going to have like quite a tight doorway and then it's going to open out maybe down some steps into a larger space I'm going to try and keep it away from the square design a little bit because I've already used it once but I'm thinking just knocking the torches off all of the walls of course I'm thinking like a more rounded kind of design down here would be cool so almost like a little rotunda in the earth down here I think that would be neat so let me work on that a little bit I'll carve out a bigger area so it's going to be like like that sort of shape but on a slightly larger scale slightly widen it out Okay, so here's the space we're working with. It's not the biggest, but I think it's going to be all right in terms of what I want to do with it. It's not going to be the most, like, huge arcade space anyway. It's not like everybody in the world is going to have come here. It's more of like a kind of a niche entertainment kind of area. And I want to do a kind of sandstone and blue colour scheme. And I've chosen lapis blocks for now just because I want to show you guys how they look in the lively default pack because they've kind of modified the lapis texture a little bit it's brighter and it doesn't have the the rim around the edge like regular vanilla lapis does so it kind of it like it connects the textures connect a little bit better than they do with with regular old lapis actually let's make that one um a regular sandstone block to give it that kind of cracked texture i think that's pretty cool and i wanted a way of working in Actually, maybe if we put the lapis on lower blocks as well, like that, and we can throw a sandstone stair across it like that, and that makes it like it's peeking out a little bit more. So maybe we can have the lapis on top of here as well. And yeah, I just wanted to put sandstone and blue together because I think that's a fantastic colour combination. I worked with this a little bit on, on Xbox Minecraft, funnily enough, back when I was building some stuff on there when I first started Minecraft in general and yeah that that color combination really floats my boat I like it a lot so I'm gonna try and stick with that and obviously yeah I want to keep that cracked sandstone in there somewhere just to to show that this place is is decaying a little bit even though there's a ton of cracked texture in the stairs so that's not too much of a problem I dug out a vein of iron ore from the floor over here which is why it looks like that uh, but we can do something with the edges and I've left this moss stone in here because I had it in my inventory and I figured you know may as well still show some signs that this place is decaying I might bring in some leaves from out here maybe just have like a kind of a bush either side that, that actually looks quite nice for the entrance in general even though it's not part of the the support structure for this doorway and I'm thinking about changing up the doorway a little bit now we have that sandstone theme going on. But let's craft some more stairs because I brought a crafting table down here because I wouldn't have to keep running backwards and forwards to the surface the whole time. But yeah, if we throw some sandstone stairs in there, that at least kind of transitions this entrance a little bit into something that says, yep, you're going into somewhere important now. And if we... Put, this is going to remove the ability to have a torch in the doorway but if we kind of put those alcoves in there it looks a little bit cooler uh, I wonder if maybe we should just oh <laughs> this pickaxe is too efficient now I've just knocked my way through the, the wall again uh, that can look all right it's cobblestone there though for now at least if we oh silence online hello this is probably the most people we've had on the server since a little while because I I haven't been on this server all that much, but I think I'm still on pretty regularly and a lot of people seem to have kind of 
it's not really their thing anymore. That, you know, that actually is perfect because those look like the designs of the arcade machines I have just without the screens of the, the armor stands and everything like that. So yeah, we can, we can throw those in there and then on the inside, it's not going to be made of sandstone. All of the <laughs> page is waving regally because she's just found a ton of diamonds in a cave. <laughs> if you're wondering why she suddenly uh, started kind of, you know, addressing the public, yes, yeah, so, you know, one one can one can wave regally at one's subjects when one has this many diamonds. <laughs> not like pages like that anyway. She's definitely uh, not the kind of person to lord it over the rest of us, but she's uh, she's coming to a bit of a bit of riches <laughs> and and silent is probably a little bit confused right now but there you go let's throw that in yes yes i'm liking this already i like i like that that's that's a that's a good looking entrance give or take the dirt around the outside but we can work on that can work on that a little bit i will see what i can do about you know what i've wanted to do something like this for a while and this is going to be a really cool way of adding blue into the walls a little bit. I've wanted to do this thing where you put like a row of slabs, like sandstone slabs here for an example, and then in the back you throw in water. And it's kind of like you have this almost like aquarium vibe to it, I guess, because it's just water kind of suspended without you really seeing what the deal is. And obviously you can't have fish in it unless you want to do some kind of clever trick involving fish. But I think that looks pretty fun. And I want to make that proper like water sources. It's nighttime outside. It is. I want to make that proper water sources so that it doesn't have the water flow noise all the time. <laughs> yeah, Paige is explaining. And... I think it's going to look really cool if I do that around the walls all around the outside. That can it can kind of lend a different blue tone to everything other than the lapis. It's definitely a little bit less expensive than the lapis as well. But yeah, I've I've wanted to do something like that for a while. So let's see if we can make that work. Let's work on that and on the back wall, I'm probably not going to do it because that's where I want some of the machines to be. I might have some of them sort of freestanding around the place and on these side walls this gravel is all going to fall down now, which is a pain, but we can we can prop it up in a second. We can prop it up with some cobble. Let's throw that in there. There we go. I hope that zombie doesn't wander in. But yeah, we can do the same thing here. Cobble in there, cobble in there, good. We can do the same thing here, and we can put some water sources in. Now give me a... Would it look better with stairs either side? So it's just like a tiny, like a, almost like a two block wide alcove in a three block wide thing. Let's try that now. Going to have to be super careful that this doesn't run all over the floor. Like that. How does that look? Hmm. Can't decide if I like that more or less but it means I have the right number of materials to do it twice so <laughs> without making any more sandstone slabs. So let's let's stick with that for now and I can change it again in future if I want to. I could always expand it a little bit further as well, have the stairs kind of on the outside. Just realized I don't need to go to the outside for water sources because I can just grab it from in there now. And there's a slab just floating in there that I want to get, but I may have to sacrifice that one unfortunately but yeah that looks good it almost looks like a screen because it's moving it's got a kind of screen saver effect going on that's that's cool that's cool i like that let's let's throw in some more chiseled sandstone here and there because any excuse to throw creeper stuff on things <laughs> and it looks kind of neat like that i might see if i can put something around the outside to make that look a little different and i'm gonna have to move this crafting table every five minutes when i do this Right. I'm definitely getting a feel for how I want this place to look. This is good. This is good. I will let you guys go for a second just so I can work on the rest of this off camera and then I'll bring you back when we've got this place looking a little bit more ship shape. There's a creeper right outside of here and he's not going to follow me in. You know why? Rails. Mobs won't cross them. They just won't. And more than once a creeper has come in and has blown up <laughs> a substantial portion of what I had built. So, 
I put rails in front of the doorway. And now they can't. See, that looks kind of weird to me, but those are staying there because I do not want any part of this place blown up. This place is looking beautiful. Check this out. I mean, obviously, ignore the ceiling. <laughs> ignore the fact that I've left buttons in the ceiling from where I've been using pistons to push the stuff onto these arcade machines. But, oh man, this is kind of cool. This is like a... I think of this as like a two-player game. Look at me now. I'm, I'm designing games that don't even exist in a game... <laughs> <laughs> just so this can this can have some kind of purpose but yeah this is like a two player game where one player is the good guys and one player is the bad guys and they kind of play competitively which is why the machines are linked but they look kind of different this one's got like redstone on that side and this one's got sugar on that side because it's kind of like the good versus evil game and they've got like the coin slots there and the joysticks oh I think it looks great I am going to put together a painting if I can craft some that's what I need I need wood and I already had it in my inventory I need some sticks and we'll just throw those around I'll get a couple of paintings together just for decorating some of the other stuff in here but yeah check out what I've done I brought in some prismarine and some sea lanterns lights the place beautifully without any torches I kind of need to put the bushes back on there from when the creeper kind of blew them up earlier um but yeah, I've gone with this lapis and sandstone look, added some prismarine, because that, I mean, that will change colour over time as well. So sometimes it doesn't look so good when it's got that really kind of light bluish green kind of colour, but then the other colours start to fade in and, oh, it looks gorgeous. And then, yeah, the lapis, I've got some water behind it there. Just going to make the roof look a little bit nicer and probably add in, I figured some cobwebs would be quite good. Just to kind of give the place a little bit of a, like, nobody's been in here for ages feel, but not take away from the fact that I've really liked the colour scheme in this place. Threw down some blue wool as well because I didn't want to use a bunch of lapis but let's see if we can get the painting I want for this game here. Well that's not going to happen is it? There it is, there you go. See because then this side is the good guys so they don't have any kind of <laughs> like bad stuff going on here. This side is the bad guys, they're playing the creepers. It's almost like the, the bad side kind of has the uh, the creepers, controls them and is trying to blow up this player. I don't know, maybe I'm just, <laughs> I'm just reading way too much into the design of this game. But yeah, here is arcade machine number one. I quite like it, I think it looks pretty cool. I will throw down a cobweb over here maybe. Yeah, that's, that's kind of neat. And yeah, um, this is all I'm going to do on it for this episode. I just figured I would show you guys the progress and hopefully we will finish off the ceiling, get a few machines installed in here and it will look like a proper old abandoned amusement arcade. I already threw in some cracked sandstone with the kind of underside of the stairs there to give that a little bit more of an aged look but hopefully we can add in a couple more features but for now that is going to be it for this episode thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this a little bit of building on camera this time around which i'm quite pleased with my name has been pixel riffs please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel for more tutorials minecraft videos and other fun stuff and i will see you guys soon bye for now